Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing another techno series episode and I'm gonna tell you the music I use, uh, copyrighted music on YouTube and how to distinguish that. So let's get started with the video. So let's start off with the first theme of this video which is why is it so important to use the right music on your videos? If you use copyrighted music, you can get um, access on your channel. Like if you get three access, your channel can be deleted. So you don't want that because you can lose everything. So you have to use the right music. Using copyrighted music can make your videos that people won't be able to see it in devices like in iPhones or an iPad or something like that. You won't be able to see it just on the computer. So that's not that cool. That's the bad thing about using music with copyright. Your video can be taken down by YouTube if the owner of the music decides to. Using the right music in your video is super, super important. Super. You can make your video give a different impression of what you want it to look like. This is an example. Music can make your video like give it a good environment and make people like want to stay give it a good vibe, you know? So the next part of our video is how to know if your video or song has copyright. Yeah. <laughs> to know if your video has copyright, you just go to video manager and then you go to copyright notices and there you'll be able to see all of the videos that you have copyright on and you can check which song is the copyrighted detected on and you can actually sometimes like take the song off leave your video the way it is but just it won't have that song there a lot of networks ask you to delete all of the videos that have copyrighted issues so uh, sometimes it's better to even take them down than to have more views on that video what i do normally is private those videos i have like four private videos because of copyright and that really sucks because um you work really hard on your videos and then you just have to private them but that's why i recommend not using music that's gonna have copyright yeah you can see the song and then underneath on like the description normally it's gonna appear like a little box that says you can buy this song on iTunes and tell you like the title and the singer artist or anything and normally those songs have copyright um, I can assure you that that's a uh, hundred percent secure but most of the time when it doesn't have that thing it means that it doesn't have copyright last part of the video and I'm gonna tell you what I do to not get copyright on my videos let's get on to that section of the video so normally if you put a song like a um, popular song on your video but you only leave it for 30 seconds like for example at the beginning of your video or at the end or during the video you change like 30 seconds 30 seconds 30 seconds blah, 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 and you change the song and it normally doesn't matter like it doesn't detect youtube doesn't detect those those songs if you really like a song like let's say you really like we can't stop by miley cyrus i don't know and you should definitely use like a remix or a mashup or something that includes that song but it's not like the original song and normally youtube doesn't detect remixes or stuff like that for the third thing in this section i'm going to tell you the channels that normally upload really cool music and do not have copyright for the backgrounds that i use world at large by dan and this is the song that you're gonna hear right now um i also use wallpaper by kevin mcleod sorry if i pronounced the name wrong but um, I think Tyler Oakley uses this song on, on his videos uh, as a background and it's this song. <music> Lastly, I use an ukulele upbeat uh, song. I'm not that sure how this is called but I use this song. I'm gonna put all of the names, I'm, I'm gonna list them down below. Some of them I'm gonna put the links and don't use this song twice. You can use the whole song once but then don't put it again. Okay, so those are some of the songs I use for my backgrounds. And now I'm gonna tell you the music that I normally use for my videos and like lookbooks and fashion videos and stuff like that. A really cool um, 
channel that makes uh, remixes and stuff like that. I'm just gonna list them all. Mr. Suicide Sheep, The White Panda, Majestic Casual, Proximity, um, Electropose, and a lot more that I'm gonna list down below. Okay guys, so those are the channels I use for finding music and on YouTube and it has free copyrighted issues. But even if you use those channels, check the tip that I said that you must be sure that it doesn't have the eye on iTunes and stuff like that. Okay, so that's it. That's what I use for my music, for my videos. I hope this was helpful. I always say that at the end of my videos, but I really hope it was helpful. Uh, for you guys and next video of the techno series is gonna be I'm gonna be presenting a community that I use that's called the 10k subscriber project and that's gonna be up on the 1st of August so look out for that go check the description because there's gonna be a lot of links and names of artists and channels that you should definitely go and check thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you on my next video Bye. And if you didn't notice, I'm using my, my rocker um, jacket because this episode is about music, you know? <laughs>